Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Dredge. We're finally heading over to what is probably the last area of the game. After putting our affairs in order. Let's see. Is it even worth manifesting? There's only a little bit of, only saving a bit of time. Oh, let, let's just go straight there. Straight-ish. If I investigate over there, let me nip on over there real quick. A rotting chest becoming the skeleton of a wrecked ship? Ooh! It's not that useful. But alright. I wonder what would have happened if I had failed right into it. Would I have actually taken damage? I don't know. Ooh, what the heck is that? A small structure sits on the island. Nearby is an abandoned campfire. What do you want to do? Examine the structure. An old stone structure is built around a statue. The statue has its arms raised towards the lighthouse at Devil's Spine. Yeah, you think I can just about make it out? Whether it gestures in fear or praise, you cannot tell. I'll, uh, uh, maybe neither. Maybe it's just showing you, hey, there's the lighthouse. <laughs> the campfire itself is unremarkable, but you wonder who would choose an island such as this to make camp. Nearby, you spot a piece of paper flapping in a bush. A note is written on it. You put it in your pocket to read later. Why not read it now? Okay. Uh... Close now. Nobody knows. Does he know? Desecrated temple. Forgive me. It's the only way he might understand. Must help him. Must stop him. <coughs> well, that is just maddeningly unhelpful. All right. That was useful. Something. But yeah, it's just that. Yeah. Do I I don't actually remember if I need any of that. And I really don't need any <laughs> any more upgrades. It'd just be kind of nice to have. What even are those? Orcas? Really big dolphins? I don't know. I'm no marine biologist. I'm more of a... Uh, I have this. <laughs> 
I don't know what this. Oh wait, I'm right, I already got all the upgrades. Never mind. I definitely don't need any then. Already then? So here we are, the charred pontoon. <laughs> We're gonna have to be dealing with wheat. I think we're gonna have to be dealing with weeping through a lot of this, uh, weird crap. Um, hi. I should probably take a nap first. But first, what's this? My, my darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now, I feel almost whole again. There's just one thing left to do. Throw me back. Ha. Huh. Alrighty then. Check out that place, I suppose. What? Oh right, that's just underwater magma deposits. Or would it be lava? Not entirely certain. Snake mackerel! Finally! Alright. That's why I couldn't find it. It was fucking all the way over here. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. <sighs> oh, rapturous day! A fresh disciple carried me atop the waves. Come ashore, weakling, and rest your weary soul. Uh, I'm just passing through. <laughs> Nonsense! Your arrival is providence from the deep itself! I have been telling, and now, you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. Alright, I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Happiness, sadness, or emptiness? What? Let's go for emptiness. Yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of mortality can ascend past it. Devoid of mortality sounds good. I don't want to die. And your flesh, what does it crave? Chill of the water? I sense it in you, a glimmer of what waits below. Finally, what does the world deserve? Nothing? <sighs> exactly, and yet it takes endlessly, harvesting and draining. But soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn. But that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as the Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of those three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit so the shrines of the deep, I will mark them. They will offer further guidance. And I must provide no more. Alright then. Dock to the old temple at De in Devil's Spine was approached by some sort of fanatic. He wants my help preparing a ceremony. I need to light the statues around the temple. Apparently I can find fathomless flames at Shrines of the Deep in the area. Sure, why not? Yes. 
slender with dull black eyes and long snout. A greedy jaw full of long, sharp teeth. Well, I'm sure if we can survive in the net for an extended period of time because I'm not going back to that guy for a while. columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carvings do you want to look at? Swarm of small creatures? The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children. Alone they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them rip you. Burn them away. Okay then. The large eyeless beast. Carving is of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother, when the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. So if the little fish, if enough of the little fish gra grip your boat, then the big fish will come out, I guess? The bubbling vent. The carving shows a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation, it burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Follow the magma. Interesting. Those bubbling columns are protection. Follow the magma. Oh, wait, I see. It's how you burn away those... Fine. Little fish. That makes sense. And the magma leads you to them. Ah! I see the gimmick here. I think I'm going slightly the wrong way. Here we go. Stone Shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures locked in battle. A lower slab holds two shallow grids. Ah. I'm gonna find two big ass crabs. Then. Okay, I'm gonna need some crab bricks so then. Probably. Hail Skate, what an odd name. One of the deepest living species of skate, thought to use hy hydrothermal vents as incubators for its egg cases. Crab pot, maybe. Yeah. All right. How much does it cost? One thirty-five. Really. Yeah. Okay. Good job. First, let me. Uh, let me get some more. Move on. Armored Hirobin. Hirobin. Ha. A small fish with angular armored plates. It has sensory barbs under its body that can help detect prey on the seabed. Sensory 
be barbed, huh? Ooh. Ossified Sirava. Uh, that uh, chittering mandible sights the air for this deep dweller. Its small body is encased in a suit of thick bone. Yeah, because that's what me that's what ossified means. Relating to, you know. Bone. Oh. Uh, huh? Oh, oh, I see. Selling all stuff also sells stuff from the, from the net. That's a bit annoying. Speaking of a bit annoying. Yeah, wait a bit. I need to save and quit to get another crab pot. This is this is like to be done that, but I'm entirely certain. Hmm. Let's just do that and then sleep. Hope something happens. what I needed. A bit of a shame to throw away the trophy, but they're not that much more valuable. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. And hey, a research part! Nice little refund on the one I spent. On that, alright. A large goblet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lumber that I don't need. And a bunch of other stuff that I don't need. And fathomless flame. A cold, unnatural flame. Dark shapes swirl and flicker inside. Ooh. Ominous. Not lobster. Covered in tiny bristles and spines, the creature is thought to be blind. They process uh, toxins spewed from the hydrothermal vents, and a freakishly huge crab from the depths. Uh, that's simple. <laughs> down. Now let's... Find the other two, I suppose. I don't think I can slip through there. That. Oh, there we go. I see. Gonna blow this up first. Or do I? Ah. 
No, no, I think I could just go around. This is a bit shallow, but oh well. Okay, a stone shrine, an upright slab bare the carving, two pale bottom dwellers hiding from their fate. The lower slab holds two shallow groups. Okay, nowhere to find those. Ah, here we go. Wait, no, that's a different one, I think. Let me double check, actually. I'm fairly certain it was a different shape. Jeez. All this engine speed is... Okay then, what is the... Ooh. That might be what I need. It very well might be. Yes, quite possibly. Ghost Shark. Sometimes called the Chimera, or the Chimera, if you're retarded. Uh, this phantom of the deep lacks the teeth of other sharks, instead having three bony grinding plates fused to its skull. Interesting. Oh, that's convenient. Alright, isn't that good for something after all? <laughs> Right. There and right. And the rock splits with an almighty crack. Yada yada yada. Ha! <laughs> Too refined metal. They're taking the piss at this point. All right. Fathom the flame number two. Fathom. still got Banish, you know? And if, every, if things go really awry, I can always use Manifest. Alright. Two malformed fish wriggling under the sun. Okay. I just need to find another aberrant toad. Oh, right there. Well, with my aberrant bonus, that shouldn't be too hard. Yesterday, with the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course, but by surprise, she bequeathed bequeath me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. 
I cannot help but feel this unveiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. These are all still fresh. Interesting. Mm. Alright. They're all. Fell the useless refined metal. Do research parts. Mm. Potentially invest them into better. Uh, pots, I guess. Lucky there'll be an aberrant in the crab pot. If not, I'll just have to go fish it. Nothing here. And nothing here. Damn it. Oh well. At least these are a lot more valuable than all the crabs I've actually encountered in the other other areas. Raft anything. A grinning maw turned upwards towards the sky, wing like fins, ready to take flight. I wonder if these. Night. I... No, I can't move them from my nest, damn it. If I could, maybe I could keep them up, uh, keep them fresh longer. I bet I could do that if I, like, go to thy storage and then go to the thing. But that would defeat half the point. You know, fresh, you get the out of I'd want to be doing it out on the out and about. Like idiots. Uh. Alright. There you go. That's what? Encrusted talisman. A stone tablet surrounded by tooth and bone. A glyph of a hook is carved in the center. 330% fishing speed and plus 3% average bonus. But it's fucking massive. And it gives... And it gives... There's no... There's no caches. So it would have to replace the tempered mesh match then. So if I wanna get, if I wanna lose my ability to get stuff out on the ballot in exchange for fishing at ludicrous speed. <laughs> but then again. Oh, there's storage here? Huh. Interesting. That I don't know. Oh, that would kind of cause me to no, no longer really be interacting with the fishing minigame, which would be a little unfortunate. So I guess that might be the point of it. If you really don't like it, you can just look up a, uh, 
can just like rush here. <laughs> Grab that. Ah, fuck. Ancient ruin. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. These paintings depict the birth of civilization. A great beacon of light is shown repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the sea. Thank you. In the dim light- alright. Right, well, these paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Alright then. Whoa. You climb the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. And somehow this takes zero time, even though even going that distance in your ship would have taken like an hour. But alright. You can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved from the face of the door. Huh. That doesn't look like anything I've seen. Hmm. Alrighty then. Husk eel. A miserable looking eel often found hiding in cracks and crevices, if you know what I mean. Alrighty then. We've got we've fathomed all the fathom of flames. Uh. That was quick. Well, I guess I wouldn't have been nearly as quick if this was the first place I went to. Alright. One down. Two down. And... Three down. Preparations are complete. The fanatic awake. Alright. Now this would be a fantastic time to stop the episode and leave you on a cliffhanger, but I'm not that cool. Oh yeah, also, I'm looking for some new relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Oh. Relics, you say? Perhaps. One such as this? Pulls an antique pocket watch from the side of his room. Droplets of sea spray crackle and sea in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my ride of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped up my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you. When the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. Alright. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey. And the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Say nothing, I guess. The wind picks up. Swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wooden wood, sodden wood at his feet. Say nothing. The, the freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Six, seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. Fire dies, so does she. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple, before, briefly, before the wind sweeps into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold in hand. The clock face swims underneath the, the cracked glass, hands spinning erratically. Alrighty then. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm, clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Huh. Well, that's that then. 
Ah ouais, les amis. Go over, sell this ghost shark, and then manifest. No, got a few other things to sell as well. Still not sure what I need for that. Involved, and let. Hang on. I've got a couple of ideas, mm. and there's no rush. even more so than the other places. Oh wait, I've got to fall something right now. Oh well. No then, alright. There's two main places I think I can search. There's this place, the most obvious. This big area. And I guess these as well. There's also another place, one that I disregarded earlier. And for good reason. So it'll probably it'll be the last place I want. Only second to last. Us. You approach a hooded figure. They are standing expectantly. Vermilion red robes flowing, blowing in the wind. <laughs> the voice from the hood cuts through the humid air. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. Put a shape on it. A cut steel. Oh, well now I'm glad I didn't sell them. The figure draws a ceremonial knife. Yada yada yada. They had a place in front of them. Wait, that was different. Bring down the sky. Another shape on a scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. I don't have this one. Okay. Okay, but is there anything else around here? Serpentine Mac. Oh. Maverick. It lashes out with its teeth, its tail. A hissing rises from its mouth, and then from the water around you. Alright, awesome. Wait, maybe. Hang on, I've got a hunch as to what. Maybe if I, maybe I need to bring bring all the fish to all of these red, or these rogue guys and then they'll give me the thing that I need to open the door that seems most likely okay, before I assume that there was a place uh, where was it damn it place I needed. Oh, I can't find it now. There's a place I needed explosives to get into. I disregard it really. I thought it was another one of those places that just had like refined metal and stuff. And it probably was. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna manifest. All right. Hmm. But do I give the guy the thing? No. Because I'm not certain.
Let me just hang on. Yeah, just backed up my save just in case. Alright. Climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the, deliver the relic or conceal the relic. Interesting. Okay, I think that is probably... That, that is... Uh, weak evidence that, uh, moderately weak uh, moderately strong evidence that the uh, that this might irrevocably send me into the end game hmm okay that hmm I'll just store it here for now there are other things that I'm keen on doing first Most notably, these figures. Oh yeah, and I never, I never did that. Yeah, find that uh, rare fish in, the, in that other place in the in the double spine. Hmm. Oh, it's, that, I mean, it's probably behind that place that I could have blown up. Oh well. Okay then. Next time, I'm going to be go. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm, well, first of all, I'm going to be catching a sailfish, then returning to Devil's Spine, giving the sailfish to the guy, and then finding the rare fish. Then I'm going to go around, I'm going to go to that other guy, give him the snake mackerel, then figure out where the fuck a thing is. Then I'm, then find whatever else they need, and figure out what the fuck their deal is. And then, is there anything else I need to do? There's a couple of empty spaces, so maybe. Yeah. Next episode, and maybe the episode after that as well, depending on how long it takes, will be tying up loose ends. One of which will be figuring out know, what happens if I go, like, all the way out here. Maybe even all- maybe I'll even circle the entire goddamn map. Perhaps. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.